Do you want to see my video? Okay. I'm not using the rubber band with the hook. And you use this little guy. This is the, the awesome thing that people invented. Makes a huge difference. Preferably on the bottom. Wrap it again. And you, you use the hook again. So you have this ponytail. So when you actually put the rubber band, it doesn't mess up the shape of what it just did while pulling through the hair, especially if you have long hair, not this baby ponytail, this is easy. But if you have a long hair up to your butt, that's, that's when you really need this hook, otherwise it's screwed. When you're pulling the whole hair through, it's gonna all get messed up. And then you put this one above it. And then you just unhook that little guy. Ah, so you use it as like to hold it. But yeah, it's just a tool so that ah. when you pull the hair through, it doesn't mess up the, the slickness that you created over here. So if you can just, if you don't want to break your nails, you just use one of those things. So you see, here's another mistake I did. This is a learning video. <laughs> uh, I did put the rubber band over the hook. Usually, they don't interfere with each other. This time they did a little bit. So it's hard to take it off. Usually it's too fast. Okay. I think we need another rubber band. It's That's not tight enough. Okay, what else? No rubber band. Okay. What's the easiest hair to do? Like a low bun. A low bun. The easiest thing to do. Wide bun is easier than ponytail, even though people think otherwise. If something went wrong next to your ponytail, you can still brush it, and even if you have some imperfections next to the ponytail, it's going to be covered up by the bun. Mm -hmm. So that's why bun is easier than ponytail, actually. Do you use gel or hairspray or both? Or does it depend? depends on, the, on, the, on the, how heavy is the hair? If the hair is very heavy, I use the <laughs> I use the gel. Mm -hmm. But uh, also gel has a um, it's a weird color that makes hair darker, so if you're blondie and you want to keep your hair blonde on the floor, uh, you should stay away from gel. Then you should use only hairspray to do your slick ponytail. If you have dark hair like Sarah, then it doesn't matter. You can do whatever. You can do just hairspray or hairspray and gel. Brush is really important. You see, there's brush number one and brush number two. And then there's also brushes that have these two things combined. You don't have it? This is really comfortable because it has this kind of thing that brushes you and this layer that slicks it, like a toothbrush. What is the hardest style to do? It depends on the person's skills. For me, the hardest thing to do is a wet weight because it's just all about combination of gels. You need to combine thick gel and liquid gel. Mm -hmm. And if you get the proportion wrong, you either cannot brush the hair or it's too wet mm -hmm. and it takes forever to dry and it's like sliding down. Also, it's very messy, you know, like you, you know, you're, so, you're supposed to have it soaking wet, so either the gel will accidentally get in the outfit of your customer, or it falls on you, on your shoes, or on the carpet where you work, and it's like, ah, oh, how do we make it all nice and clean in here? <laughs> so that's my struggle, personally. I get this proof of hair. And I'm gonna put it under my little poof to make it a bigger poof. Yeah. Is that what you do? Absolutely. If people have shorter hair? 100%. So you can either use this poof, there's two ways to use it. You can use it like this, like a little bowl, and you attach it under your ponytail, and you cover it up with your own hair, and you put a net over it. This is a very good way if your hair is not really matching the poof you're using. That's really a good thing to do. The other way to do it, because it's a ponytail originally, you can also attach it like a ponytail, right? And then you wrap it. In that case, you can you can play with the shape and you can even do the bun and then use the end to cover up the rubber bands and those imperfections I was talking about. That's how you would do it. And yes, this is a shitty uh, hairnet because it has very big holes. And I'll show you the good hairnet that have a little smaller holes. So all the imperfections go inside that hole. Yeah, you probably don't see the difference. But let's try to find it. Put it into your shirt. 
some shitty nets have a huge hole, you know, like, like, like we're fishing in the ocean. And this is for little... So I put the banner over. So people think that all of the good hairdressers just like make it all sleek and put the ponytail like it is. That's perfect. That's not how it does. <laughs> so you consciously put the shirt on? I messed it up. Oh, good talk. Thank you. I think it's like $10 from China. Uh, yeah, I can yeah, choose a bun. Like can a little one circle. way? Can I pee real fast? No. no. When I was little in Soviet Union, we used a regular brush and a toothbrush. That's the way to go if you don't have this kind of brush. Yeah, you use first the little brush like this, and then you take a toothbrush and you go over it and so it becomes sleek. That's the way to go.